Hello everyone on Facebook. This is Stephen Smith coming to you with Live Art Mini. We're at Inside Out Studio as always. And our special guest of the day is Stevie Gall. I'm gonna say hi Stevie. So everyone out there that's watching on Facebook right now can see what's happening on that screen. So that's what they see right now. Can you wave hi to everybody? Yeah. And give everyone a wave out there. Alright, if you know Stevie, if you don't know Stevie, if you want to say hi, give us a comment, click a like, give us a heart, let us know you're watching. We've got a special guest star, Jody Mann, back here. Hey! We've got, we've got a full crowd at the art studio today. It's a fun Friday, we're rocking out to some 80s. We've got some Pat Benatar on right now. And then we are, we are going to say... Hi, you've got a high already. So Kim is working the boards behind the scenes and we've been told that Amy says hi. Stevie, there's an Amy out there says hi to you. And then also our own Devin. Devin's out there watching today, everybody. So I bet you're gonna have a lot of fans today there, Stevie. So we're gonna share some of the artwork that Stevie's doing. Today, I'm gonna give you a quick little preview. Stevie's been working on some pumpkin people drawing. So Stevie is known for all of his very happy, creative people that he draws. And then Steve, there's a Mike Gall says, Bubba! You got a Hey Bubba for Mike out there. Can you wave hi to him? All right, you're gonna be a celebrity, I feel like. So Stevie is known for his party people drawings and Jody is known for being Show on camera for showing off, she says. I <laughs> I'm just gonna step aside. I'm gonna let Jody host today. But we're gonna share some things with you. I also want to give a shout out to Symmetry Gallery. That's our your sponsor for Live Art Mini that makes this happen. And then big thank you to Sherry Armstead for sponsoring us. Go check out Symmetry Gallery and Boutique in Fairfield. Stevie, you got the highs and likes coming in. Vicky. Vicky says, what up, Stevie? So Vicky Gaw is watching out there. So we want to share all the different things that Stevie makes here in the art studio. And you can see what he's doing new, live, and in person today. So I'm going to pull up some pictures of previous works that he's done. So this was a piece that was titled Cotton Candy Party People. Like I said, Steve's people are really, really cool. They're all unique and have awesome facial expressions and characteristics. And he just naturally has been doing this, I think, your whole life. So when Stevie first started attending Inside Out Studio and coming to the program, his family just said that, you know, he would sit at home with a pencil and paper and just draw people. And that was just what he enjoyed to do. So it was our pleasure to be able to bring his artwork to everyone out there. Uh, what we've done is really just experiment with different materials over the years, found out what's really working like the best to showcase the personality and the quality of his people. Uh, one thing that we have worked with is, let's say that the Sharpies, if you're familiar with Sharpie markers, ultra fine point Sharpies are like our go-to for Stevie. It really brings out those unique characteristics and all of the personality of his people. So the piece you're looking at here is Sharpie marker and watercolor. So Stevie has also done kind of a mixed media collage. So this is Sharpie marker on canvas, but then you also did some transparent paint over top of it and did some different shades on it. Remember doing that piece? So right now people are looking at this little painting that you did right there. And then we're gonna say, oh, quick shot back here. We got a bunch of highs we gotta catch up to. So Kathy's out there. Hey Kathy. Been a big supporter of Stevie along with the rest of his family. Kathy is out there and she says hi there. And then our bear, Terry's watching everybody. Terry tuned in today. <laughs> Everyone wants to say hi to Terry out there too. Oh, is she on? Yes. Hi. <laughs> All right, thank you Jody. We're gonna go back to Stevie's artwork now. Stevie has done some tote bags as well. So this is directly onto the canvas bag itself with Sharpie markers. That way it doesn't bleed, it doesn't fade. But then you also did some printing of Billy Yank. So that's for our Hamilton fans out there. And a couple other cool things before we take it back to Stevie. 
his artwork. We've got some glazing. Do you see that picture there? Glazing that you've done on ceramics. We've got an Amy Jackson out there that says, hey Bubba as well. You're getting a lot of Bubba's Bubba. So, yeah. so this is a ceramic piece. And then Amanda Joy from the studio came up with a process for clay where Stevie could draw his people directly onto a sheet of newsprint with the special glaze and then transfer it onto the clay surface itself. Which, I'm just gonna brag on you here really quick, Stevie. Take a look at this piece. This was a ceramic planter that we entered into a competition for Stevie early, early, early in this year. I believe it was like back in January. It's called Art and Soul Competition. It's a statewide competition for artists with disabilities. And it was selected, it was one of 44 pieces selected for the entire show, for the entire state, and it also got fifth place. So, remember this one there, Stevie? His Party People Planter received fifth place in the Art and Soul competition. We couldn't be prouder of Stevie. And you've got a huge following today. I'm trying to keep up. Jen Gall says hi. You've got the whole family out watching today, Stevie. So give him a big wave and a thumbs up. I'd say better yet, let's sling some webs at him. I was talking to Stevie earlier today, his favorite character of the day, Spider-Man. Give him the Spider-Man. So Stevie loves his movies. Amy Lynn says congrats to you. Um, Stevie loves his movies, his Marvel characters, his DC characters, and his Star Wars. So that's usually our topic of conversation and interest going on. So let's take a look at what Stevie is doing today. So his party people are what he's, he's known for. That's just the people that you draw naturally. Basically, like when you get done with lunch, you'll just draw them on paper before you're ready to get back into work. And then uh, what we've kind of learned is that Stevie also works with stencils. So what we'll do in the studio sometimes is create different cutouts. So we got a pumpkin. We're ready for the fall already. We always got to get ready for the holidays earlier. But uh, Stevie does trace the pumpkins and puts the faces inside of them, kind of like jack-o'-lanterns. And then that's what we're working on today. So Stevie, if you want to grab your marker of choice right up here, we're going to switch to this camera. And that way, if you look up here, people can see exactly what you're working on right now. And then I'll do my best to follow you with the camera. So you can put your stencil wherever you like. And then start drawing some more jack-o'-lanterns today. Yep, yeah, right there. Let me adjust this camera. And then we're going to make some, as always, live art. I'm going to go with some peach. So we've got some various oranges and some browns, some fall colors to do some jack-o'-lanterns. And then while he's working on that, our very own Evan Pullman is watching out there today. Is everyone saying a big hi to Evan? Hi! And then hey. jo who is it? Who is it? Jody, you got a special shout out from Steve Wood. You know Steve Wood? Hello, Keith Wood. Keith Wood. No? What? No so way. They can hear you. They just can't see you because we're watching Stevie do his pumpkins right now. Ah! I know. So we're going to spend some time. It's really, I'd say, calming and relaxing to watch Stevie do his people. And I love all the faces that he comes up with. That's awesome. I love that guy. Going to move it around, find a blank spot that you can work with. And we've got a comment. Everyone it says everyone knows Jody. That is true. I think you you are very say, advocate for the art program, advocate for those with disabilities in our area. So thank you, thank you. You're That's welcome. Good. 
Yes, that's me. You're a mover and a shaker and a dancer and a singer. And a drinker. Hey now. <laughs> Don't be a drinking Mark Steven. And a drinker. You said it, not me. I love that guy, Steve. Awesome. So Steve, everyone's watching right up there. You're getting lots of encouragement. Kathy Hall says, great job out there. So this Yay, is, I mean, this has got to be kind of cool for all of your family and friends because I think I've seen what's come out of the studio, but this is kind of a, a unique setup. I'm not sure if they've ever seen you work with stencils before. That's good. You can put it wherever you like. I'll follow you with the camera. How about that? That's a good spot for it. And you can change up your color anytime you want. We've got the various fall shades there for you. And then Stevie's working with, like I said, ultra fine Sharpies. Uh, have a nice, let's say, thinness, I would say, to the mark making to really get the personality in his characters. And he's working on a heavyweight watercolor paper. So after he's done getting his people, his jack-o'-lanterns to fill up the space, he could always go back with the stencil and watercolor over top. Then add a few shades there. But what we found is just like very, very thin washes of watercolor work the best because we don't want to take away from the natural characters that he comes up with. I know you're also a big fan of 80s rock. So we've got some Queen playing in the background. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but if you're really enjoying another one bites the dust right now too. So some things about Stevie as he's drawn here. We talked earlier today. He's a man of few words but he does love his characters, his comic book characters and movies. I think one of your favorite things is watching the comic movies. His favorite was Spider-Man today. And you said your favorite color is red. Anything else you want people out there to know? Just check, oh yeah, you wanted to check out that guy? Mm-hmm. Yep, you can switch up colors if you want. Do a darker orange. Stevie, we'll have you draw one more pumpkin there. And then we're going to pause for a break from Symmetry Gallery just to check out what Sherry Armstead's got featured for the month over there. And then we'll come back and show even more things that you've made in the art studio. Just adding a little touch up to that guy. Pretty cool. Whoa. Hmm. All right, Tanya gave you a big compliment. She loves the pumpkins out there, but Tanya and Evan are both watching together. Let Stevie finish up one more pumpkin, then we'll pause for a break on this awesome Friday. I like it. Very cool. All right, Stevie, let's take a break. Like I said, we're going to pause and thank uh, Sherry Armstead from Symmetry for her support. We've also got, oh, James Egan's in the studio. Let's say hi, James. Is it rabbit season or duck season? Rabbit season! It's rabbit season. So with that, inside jokes, sorry. With that, we're going to take you to Sherry Armstead and Symmetry Gallery. 
Hi, it's Sherry from Symmetry Boutique and Gallery. Today I want to tell you a little bit about Hillborn Pottery. And this is our number one seller, has been since we introduced it in the store about five years ago. And um, this being wedding season, showers, things like that, the, the younger people love this. Um, all of us love it, actually. Uh, we're stocking the three most popular uh, best sellers and this is a chip and dip and this is in the gray and white it's got the little um, dip already attached it also this is um, the black and white and there's white we do carry the vases in um, teal and white and the purple and also solid white those are great gifts for um, a mom. They seem to like those when you put a bouquet of flowers in them. Hope you come see us. If you want to shop online, visit us at symmetryboutiqueandgallery.com. All right, thank you, Jerry Armstead, for that sponsorship. Go check out Symmetry Gallery in Fairfield. See what she has in store for you over there. A little something for everyone, uh, your gift needs. So we'll we're back with, with Stevie Gall. If you're just tuning in right now, we've got Stevie Gall here in the studio that we're featuring today. And you've been with us for I don't know, how many years? I think it goes back to Liberty Center days. But we just wanted to feature some other things. One of our, let's say, duties as the um, staff in the studio is to find ways to really highlight what the artists do naturally. So when Stevie came to us, he was doing his people, just drawings of different characters that we really love, kind of like simplified illustrations and cartoons. So we found different ways to really highlight them. So we saw some still images earlier, but here's a shot of the tote bag that Stevie did. Remember doing that? So we did the screen print of Billy Yank, which is local for Hamilton. And then we got Stevie drawing with Sharpies over top. So it's this nice permanent marker to go onto the surface. And we got some more. It's a happening Friday. We got Dwayne Sparks out there watching. Hey, Dwayne. Yeah, Hope you're. Jody gives you a hey, Dwayne. Hope you're having a good day out there. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Back to Stevie's art. Here's some other watercolors he's done. When we talk about doing the stencils, you can see that he has the larger people. And there's Jody Man again. Want to say hi? And hi. All right. And then we got Stevie who's done stencils for the larger images. So to get this, you just did tracing over top with a little Dixie cup. That way you can get the bigger heads. Another example of tracing that we've done is with snowmen. Like I said, it's the holiday season's early around here. So you can see the various snowmen that he's been creating this morning. This could have watercolor added to it as well. And then Stevie, you could have your very own Christmas card. And then speaking of Christmas, according to Hobby Lobby, it's never too early for Christmas, but around here too. And Joe, do you want to have a seat and work on what you're doing today? Okay, so we have custom Stevie Gall Christmas ornaments. So those of you that follow Inside Out know that every year we come up with a few different designs in ceramic and glass. But if someone's doing something really unique in the studio, we want to highlight that. So what we'll do is take Stevie's drawings underneath a piece of clear glass and then he can trace over top of it with designer liner. Couple different variations that we've seen. These are handmade, one of a kind, drawn by you. Remember that guy? That's right. So, we also take commissions, so if you'd like a handmade one of a kind Stevie Gall Christmas ornament or sun catcher, go ahead and comment. Because, like I said, Kim is behind the scenes taking in all the comments. And then she's also going to be posting some links to our online store, which you can always check out. One last thing you've got so much stuff, Stevie. One last thing that we did for Butler County Board of Developmental Disabilities is they ordered some lanyards in the past. I'm gonna to try to get this as close as I can and hopefully it's in focus. But their lanyards for the staff have been printed with Steve Gall characters. 
So a big thank you to everyone at Butler County Board of Developmental Disabilities for featuring our artist work on something for everyone on your staff there. So Stevie, you feel like drawing some more? I think you always yeah. feel like drawing. I think Stevie always feels like drawing. Yeah. So we're gonna take it back to the, the close up cam. I think we need a, a name for our art camera. Let me readjust so people can see what you're working on right this second. I think we need a new name for our our detail cam. I keep calling it different things every time. Detail cam, art cam, close-up cam. If you have any suggestions, you can post those in the links. Comment on our page. Kathleen, do you have any suggestions for our close-up detail art camera? I think it. Something catchy. The art liner? The art liner? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Sid. I've been good. That's very good, Stephen. <laughs> no, I've been good. Oh, Gonna go over to this side. Hopefully, I'm not making anyone nauseous out there with the jerky camera movements. Very good, Stevie. Skycam, I like that one. We need like a little uh, helicopter sound effects too to go with that. Thank you, Mike, for that suggestion. We got some pumpkins being made by Stevie Gall right now. Each one comes out unique. And what I love about this, Stevie, is that every single face is completely different. It's got their own personality. Some have mustaches, some have big eyes, some have no eyes. The creation cam. I like that. Thank you, Amy Lynn, for that suggestion. What do you think, Kathleen? Creation cam? Sounds good. That is catchy. Send in all of your suggestions in the comment section. We might take a studio vote for next week. Uh, Stevie, you want to switch up your color? You do? Okay. I'm going to do a quick zoom out while you do that. There's a Marilyn Abbott watching out there. and She said she's super proud of you. So very proud of you, Stevie. Do you know Marilyn? All right. So we're going to Stevie's taking a pause here to pick a different color for his pumpkin. Yeah, you can just find a open spot for your next one. And it looks like we're going for a brown. Let me move that camera for you. Readjust. You need help with the lid? You got it. Okay. All right. So we're going to add some brown pumpkins now to this scene, which is good. It's always nice to have a little bit of contrast, but still fitting with all the fall colors. I think we're all ready for a little bit of fall, a little bit of holiday after the year that we've had. We've heard that Dunkin' Donuts has released their pumpkin spice flavors. What do you think of that, Kathleen? Yeah. Are you a pumpkin spice fan? Would be great. Stevie, do you like pumpkin spice flavors? Yeah. It's nice when it's dark skin cold outside. I hope you're all enjoying a day with Steve Gall out there. We're just taking some time to watch him create uh, pumpkin characters. We featured a lot of his artwork that he's been making. 
those of you that know him probably know him for his characters and his people that create. We're just showing all the different types of variations and types of things that he can make here at Inside Out Studio. So once again, Kim's going to be posting our online store link where you can check out what all the artists have made here at the studio. And then we'll keep updating that week after week. We do plan on adding some more holiday themes and as always, we do take commissions. So if you have a specific artist, like if you want Stevie to create any ornaments or any drawings for you, let us know. Our artists are here for vocational purposes. And I'll readjust here. So that means they're here to earn income from all of the art that they make. So we appreciate commissions. It puts money in the pockets of our artists. It keeps them working hard. How about one more pumpkin for the day there, Stevie? And then we can finish this up at our leisure off camera and then maybe add some watercolors to it later. And then Kim's also going to be posting the link for our YouTube page which has all of our live art minis. So week after week we're adding those to the YouTube studio and then you get to meet all of our artists via our short video segments. Our studio is closed off. We used to take visitors before COVID, but for safety precautions, our studio is limited to those attending right now. So this is a great way for you to get to see what the artists are making in the studio and all the things that we do behind the scenes. Good job, Stevie. Who is that one? Who's that guy? Yeah. Is that anyone specific? Sometimes they'll say it's me. That's pretty cool. But thanks for joining us today. We're going to wrap some things up with a preview. We've been talking about the holidays. We've also mentioned the Christmas ornaments. And just to remind you, Stevie Gall does his own ornaments. They're unique to you since you have a very special look. So this is a Steve Gall designed ornament. Some Christmas people, maybe it's some kids getting ready for Santa. But we have decided upon some designs for this year's Christmas ornaments for everyone to make. So they're gonna be little circle characters. We have an example of a snow woman. We have a reindeer as well. So we're gonna have little circle characters this year. It could be elves, it could be Santa, it could be a penguin. And we're also gonna have these nice holiday diamond designs. So these will come in various colors, whatever the artists really choose from. We've got the classic red, green, and white here for Christmas, but also has this nice dichroic in the middle that has an iridescent look to it. So those are gonna be the new holiday ornaments for 2020. We're gonna start cranking those out as soon as we can to make sure we're getting all your holiday needs met. So let me go ahead and flip our camera around. We're gonna say a big goodbye from everyone here at the art studio. Just need to zoom out. Not zooming out too much. Oh, I forgot. So last week, if you tuned in, we had Kathleen Honeycutt. So she was working on an in progress and you're gonna to have to remind me the names of the character. This is Elsa from Frozen. So if you saw last week, Kathleen was working on her Elsa as a take on the Frozen character as a mermaid. And then she also finished, who is this? This is another version of Miku, the dress is a little reindeer. It's Miku? And what character is that from? It's a Vocaloid character, it's a pop star. Okay, character. that's new to me. You're like, ah, oh, Stevie! <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of Kathleen's characters, but as a reindeer. And she also gave her a purse as well. So I love these unique um, mermaids that you're creating. So if you wanna check those out, they're in our online store, as well as in the store, 
So Kathleen, you are just cranking out these dolls. I love it. Uh, we got some more messages coming. Ma Paula Morris says hi. Paula Morris enjoyed seeing you today, Stevie. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to jump around here. We're going to say a big goodbye, goodbye from everyone at the studio. Yeah. So we're going to take our detail for our creative cam. Hey! And this is a big goodbye from everyone at Inside Out Studio. Hey! hey. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend, everybody. And Kathleen again. All right, Kathleen, send them out with a big goodbye. Bye-bye.